welcome to basic thermodynamics class we are discussing chapter 2 thermodynamic process so this is the last class for the chapter 2 so we solve some more problems based on a change in entropy for different thermodynamic process So in the last class we solved some problems based on a change in entropy on constant temperature, constant volume and the constant pressure but we did not solve them on a polytropic process. So in this class we will solve the polytropic process. So before going to solve the polytropic process just I am just I am writing the formulas for the entropy change in terms of a volume, pressure and temperature for a polytropic process. So the change in entropy in terms of a volume delta S is equal to mcv gamma minus n ln v2 by v1. So this cv can written we know that this cv also in terms of r, r divided by gamma minus 1. So then the equation becomes like a mr gamma minus n divided by gamma minus 1 ln v2 by v1. So ln is nothing but the log e or in terms of a pressure. So we know that v2 by v1 is nothing but the p1 by p2 whole power 1 by n. So if you substitute here, it, uh, here it is a ln p1 by p2 whole power 1 by n. So 1 by n comes to the this side. It becomes mcv gamma minus n by gamma ln p1 by p2. the entropy change in terms of a temperature delta S is equal to mcv gamma minus n by n minus 1 ln t1 by t2 because we are writing v2 by v1 as a t1 by t2 whole power 1 by n minus 1. So log a power 1 by n becomes as a 1 by n log a. So we are writing mcv gamma minus n divided by n minus 1 ln t1 by t2. So if in the problem they didn't given the cv value if they given r value so simply write the cv is equal to r divided by gamma minus 1 so these three are the formulas to calculate the change in entropy during the polytropic process in terms of a volume pressure and a temperature a gas has a initial pressure volume and temperature of 140 kilo newton per meter square 0.14 meter cube and 25 degree centigrade respectively. It is compressed to a pressure of 1.4 mega Newton per meter square. According to the law PV power 1.25 is equal to constant. Determine the change in entropy. Determine the change of entropy. So in this problem they didn't mention the condition just they given the equation. There is the equation. With equation we can identify what is that it is a process. Here they given the PV power 1.25. So PV power n is equal to constant related to the polytropic process. So we have to calculate the change in entropy during the polytropic process. First read the question carefully and I write given data. So initial pressure P1 140 kilo Newton per meter square pressure volume temperature the given data p1 is equal to 140 kilo newton per meter square v1 is equal to 0 0.14 meter cube t1 25 degree centigrade so we are converting into kelvin 273 is equal to 298 kelvin p2 1.4 here it is a into 10 power 3 kilo Newton per meter square. So n is equal to 1.25 r is equal to we know that cp minus cv. So the given the cp values and the cv values by using that we can calculate the r value your gas constant value. So that r is equal to 0 0.298 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. 
So first write the given data. Adiabatic index gamma is equal to Cp by Cv value. After finding the R value, you can find the adiabatic index also. R is gamma is equal to Cp by Cv. So we got the gamma value as a 1.4. Next calculate the mass by using the ideal gas equation P1 V1 by R T1. Substitute all the values. Here the P1 is a 140, V1 0.14, R value 0.298 into T1 298. So mass of the gas is 0.221 kgs. So first write the given data and calculate the R value and next gamma value and by using the ideal gas equation calculate the mass of the gas. So ideal gas equation P1 V1 is equal to MR T1. So they given P1 value, V1 value and R value we calculated T1 value they given in the data. So by using all the values we will get the M value. Next change in entropy during the adiabatic process here taking in terms of a pressure in terms of a pressure so a formula is mcv gamma minus n divided by n ln p1 by p2 so we got the mass value in the first bit and cv value they given in the data gamma we calculated by using the ratio cp by cv n value they given in the pv power n is equal to constant so they given the equation in the data pv power 1.25 is equal to constant so here their the n value is a 1.25 n value 1.4 sorry it is a gamma ln 140 by 1400 so we will get the delta s is equal to minus 0 0.04553 kilojoule per Kelvin because you are taking the value as a kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So, this here also will get the value in terms of a kilojoule per Kelvin. So, negative sign indicates that a, indicates the decrease in entropy, decrease in entropy. So, first we have to write the del change in entropy in terms of a pressure MCV gamma minus N by N. 1.4 minus 1.25 divided by here it is not a 1.4 so here the value is a 1.25 1.25 so here the n value is a 1.25 the formula is gamma minus n divided by n so you have to write the n value so not gamma value gamma is a 1.4 so delta S is equal to minus 0.04553 kilojoule per Kelvin. So negative sign indicates a decrease in entropy. Next problem. Three kg of a perfect gas is compressed according to the law PV power 1.3 is equal to constant and the temperature is raised from 5 degree centigrade to 150 degree centigrade during the compression during the compression so they given it is in a polytropic law, polytropic equation PV power n is equal to constant and it is in a compression so evaluate the change in entropy during the polytropic process they given the r value and the cp value so first write read the question carefully and write the given data so m is equal to 3 kg polytropic equation pv power n that is pv power 1.3 is equal to constant here the n is a polytropic index n value is 1.3 and the temperature t1 273 plus 5 degrees 278 plus 157 plus 273 400 kelvin during the compression evaluate the change in entropy so r value given the cp value given so by using the r and the cp value we can calculate the cv value after getting the cv value we can calculate the gamma value and by using the uh, the given here the temperatures so we can write the polytropic uh, change in entropy during polytropic process in terms of a temperature s2 minus s1 is equal to mcv gamma minus n by n minus 1 
log or ln t1 by t2 we can use that formula first so the mass of the gas 3 kg initial temperature 278 kelvin and next final temperature 157 plus 273 is a 430 kelvin gas constant r value 0 0.287 kilojoule per kg kelvin specific heat rate constant pressure cp is equal to 1.005 kilojoule per kg kelvin and specific heat rate constant volume we all know that r is equal to cp by cv here in the problem they mentioned the r value and cp value so by using the two values we can calculate the cv value so will you get the cv is equal to cp minus r substitute the cp value and the r value we will get the cv value so cv is equal to 1.005 minus 0.287 equal to 0. 718 kilojoule per kg kelvin so this is the cv value so we got the cp value and the cv value and we can find the ratio of the specific heats that is adiabatic index gamma value by using the equation gamma is equal to cp by cv so substitute the cp value and whatever we got the cv value substitute here we will get the adiabatic index gamma value as a 1.4 next for the polytropic process so we all know that the relations between temperature and volume also here they given v2 by v1 is equal to t2 by t1 whole power 1 by n minus 1 so they given that 278 plus 430 we know the temperatures initial temperature and final temperature so we got the v2 by v1 as a 0 0.2336 0 0.2236 change in entropy delta s is equal to mcv gamma minus n ln v2 by v1 v2 by v1 or we can calculate it by using mr gamma minus n by gamma minus 1 ln v2 by v1 we can use any of these formulas here i am using this formula so students you can try with this formula we will get the same answer we will get the same answer so delta s is equal to 3 into 0 0.287 1.4 minus 1.3 divided by 1.4 minus 1 ln 0 0.2336 so delta s the negative sign indicates the decrease in entropy or we can use the another formula also if not v2 by v1 we can use the another formula also that is mcv gamma minus cn by n minus 1 ln t1 by t2 so we can use this formula also or we can use delta s is equal to delta s is equal to m c v gamma minus n by n minus 1 n minus 1 n minus 1 ln t1 by t2 we can use this formula also directly in case uh, we can skip that the, the before step by using as a v2 by v1 is equal to t1 by t2 whole power 1 by n so we can skip that uh, formula we can write directly because they, in data they given the temperature as well so we can use this formula also delta s is equal to mcv gamma minus n by n minus 1 ln t1 by t2 so here m is a 3 cv is a cv they given the value cali we calculated it is a 0 0.728 something or the gamma value 1.4 n value 1.3 n value 1.3 minus 1 ln t1 278 by 430 so we will get the same answer 
So, you can try with this formula also. So, delta S will get the minus 0 0.313 kilo joule per Kelvin. So, the negative sign indicates there is a decrease in entropy, decrease in entropy. So, we can, we can use any formulas out of the three formulas change in entropy in terms of volume we can use the pressure you can use temperature we can use based on the data we can use any of these formulas we will get the change in entropy during the polytropic process next a quantity of air having the volume of 0 0.06 meter cube at 1.03 bar and 15 degree centigrade is compressed according to the law PV power N. Here they given the N value as a 1.15 is equal to constant until its pressure becomes 8.3 bar. Calculate the change in internal energy and change in entropy of the air. Change in internal energy and change in entropy of the air. Take the CV value and the CP value. Take the CV value and the CP value. First, here they gave clearly given that it is in a polytropic process. During the polytropic process, we have to calculate the change in internal energy and change in entropy. So, these are the, we have to calculate it. So, first write the given data. So, volume 0.06 meter cube, pressure 1.03 into 10 square kilo Newton per meter square, T1 15 plus 273, N value 1.15 and P to 8.3 into 10 square kilo Newton per meter square CV value CP value. So, by using the CV value CP values we can calculate the R value R is equal to CP minus CV gamma is equal to CP by CV values. So, after that we can calculate the change in internal energy and change in entropy. Try the initial conditions P1 1.03 bar that is 103 kilo Newton per meter square, V1 0 0.06 meter cube, T1 15 degree centigrade, 288 Kelvin. So, the final conditions P2, 8.3 into 100, which becomes 830 kilo Newton per meter square. So, R value is equal to Cp minus Cv, we will get the R value and the ratio of specific heats gamma is equal to Cp by Cv, 1.005 divided by 0 0.718 equal to 1.4. Next, mass of the air, mass of the air is equal to P1 V1 by RT1. We have to calculate the, because in change in entropy, I want the mass value. So, first calculate the mass using the initial conditions. So, M is equal to P1 103 into 0 0.06 or 0 0.288 into 288. So, we will get the mass as a 0 0.074 kg. So, they given the law of compression process. PV power 1.15 is equal to C. So, that is N is equal to 1.15. So, during the polytropic process, we know the relation between the pressure and the volume is T1 V1 whole power N is equal to P2 V2 whole power N. So, from that equation, relation, I am writing the equation like V2 by V1 is equal to P1 by P2 whole power 1 by N. So, in this equation, we are calculating the V2. So, we know the V1 value, P1 value, P2 value. So, by using this relation, we are calculating the V2 value. So, V2 is equal to V1 into P1 by P2 whole power 1 by N. Substitute the V1 value. So, V1 value is a 0 0.06, P1 103, P2 830 whole power 1 by 1.15. So, after calculating we will get the V2 is equal to 0 0.0098 meter cube. So, volume we will get as a 0 0.0098 meter cube. So, from that is easily we can calculate the temperature T2 also. So, T2 is equal to P2 V2 by MR. So, P2 830 V2 we calculated by using the relation P1 V1 power N is equal to P2 V2 power N. From that we calculated the V2 value. So, using the V2 value, we can calculate the T2 value. So, T2 is equal to 381.66 Kelvin, 381.66 Kelvin. So, here they ask the change in internal energy. So, will the change in internal energy? So, change in internal energy is nothing but du is equal to mcv T2 minus T1, mcv T2 minus T1. So, m value is 0 0.074. 
CV value 0 0.717, T2 381.66 minus 288. So, change in internal energy is 4.969 kilojoules. First, you have to calculate the mass by using the initial conditions uh, and uh, ideal gas equation P1 V1 is equal to MRT1. So, from that we got the M value. After that, we have to calculate the V2 value by using the polytropic relation between pressure and temperature P1 V1 whole power N is equal to P2 V2 whole power N. After that, we have to calculate the change is final temperature T2 is equal to P2 V2 by MR. So, T2 is equal to 381.66 Kelvin. After we have to calculate change in internal energy MCV T2 minus T1. So, we get the internal energy as a 4.969 kilojoules and last we have to calculate the change in entropy. Change in entropy we can, we know all the temperatures and volumes and the pressure. So, we can use, we can use the uh, in terms of a volume or in terms of a pressure, in terms of a temperature also. But here I am using in terms of a volume. So, students you can try with the pressure and temperature also, here we will get the same answer same answer here i am trying with the here i am trying with the volume equation so what is the volume equation delta s is equal to mr mr gamma minus n by gamma minus 1 ln v2 by v1 v2 by v1 so 0 0.074 r value 0 0.287 1.4 minus 1 1.3 divided by 1.4 minus 1 ln value 0 0.0098 by 0 0.06 will get delta S as a negative value. So, the negative sign indicates there is a decrease in entropy. So, we can try this change in entropy in terms of a pressure equation, temperature equation also. We will get the same answer that is a minus value. So, the minus indicates the decrease in entropy. We will discuss some question and answers in chapter 2 from starting onward. So, the chapter 2 is a thermodynamic process. So, the first what is a, here it is, so what is a thermodynamic process? So, we can tell thermodynamic process is nothing but the change of state due to its interaction with the surroundings is called as a thermodynamic process. So, the thermodynamic process may be classified into two types. One is a non-flow process, second one is a flow process. So, in your syllabus, it is a, we have a non-flow process. So, the first question in exam point of view, they will ask like this, state and classify the non-flow process. So, we have to state the non-flow process and uh, how to classify the non-flow process. So, what is the non-flow process? The nothing but the, the boundary the boundary can change but the mass of the system remains a constant throughout the process it is called as a non-flow process. So, the year the energy is crossing the boundary, the process during which the energy crossing the boundary but not, but mass cannot cross the boundary is called a non-flow process. So, it is very important. So, what is the non-flow process means you have to define like this, a process during energy crosses the boundary but not the mass cannot cross the boundary is called as in a non-flow process. So, in the first the non-flow process are analyzed into the seven types. The first one is a constant volume process. The another name of the constant volume process is a isochoric process. So, here the isochoric process we are keeping as a volume as a constant. So, the volume of the system cannot change during the process. So, the whatever the work done is equal to the 0 because we know that the work done is equal to P dV. Here, we are not changing the volume. So, volume remains constant. So, volume remains constant means V1 is equal to V2. So, there is a no change in volume. So, work done is equal to 0. So, the net flow energy equation for the constant volume is we can, can be written as a uh, dQ is equal to dU plus dW. Here, we are taking dW as a 0. That is why we can write as this dQ is equal to mcv T2 minus T1 and where Q is a heat supply during the change of a system from one state to the another state from 
here we are putting volume as a constant so we can write this the pressure is directly proportional to the temperature so p is directly proportional to temperature means p1 by t1 is equal to p2 by t2 so the constant volume process is also called as an isochoric process iso choric process or isometric process isometric means metric is nothing but the unit meter cube so volume unit is meter cube so say iso means same so same volume that means isometric and it's constant volume process isochoric process or isometric process so in this the heat transfer is, is equal to the internal energy that is dq is equal to here dq is equal to du here i am writing this dq is equal to dq is equal to du dq is equal to du and the du is equal to mcv t2 minus t1 so you all know that so mcv t2 minus t1 so this is a constant volume process mcv t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 so the second process is constant pressure process and this process is also called as an isobaric process bar is the unit of the pressure iso means same same pressure that's why call is an isobaric or constant volume process constant volume process so here we are keeping as a pressure as a constant so v is directly proportional to the temperature v1 by v2 is equal to t2 by t1 so there is a constant volume sorry constant pressure process in the constant pressure process uh, the amount of the heat energy what you are giving to the system to the it will expand from the state 1 to the state 2 at constant pressure so the work done is equal to work done w is equal to P D V here there's a we are keeping volume as a constant. So P is equal to V2 minus V1 or this equation also we can write as a MR T2 minus T1. MR T2 minus T1. So Q is equal to MCP T2 minus T1. Here here DQ is equal to DU is equal to MCV T2 minus T1. Here DQ is equal to MCP. M, I'm not writing here. DQ is equal to MCP T2 minus T1. MCP T2 minus T1. So the internal energy can we can write as I say M the net non-flow energy equation of constant pressure can be written as a U2 minus U1 is equal to Q minus W the MCV T2 minus T1. So the constant pressure is offered as also called a isobaric process. So that constant pressure process the heat energy supplied is, is also equal to change in enthalpy. Next, it is a very important process that is a constant temperature process and we call it as an isothermal process. Thermal means temperature, iso means same, same temperature. In this process, the, uh, whatever the possible expansion of the compression takes place very slowly. So, very slowly and the heat exchange will take place, uh, have then a sufficient time to allow the temperature to remain constant. So, here P is inversely proportional to the volume. We are keeping temperature as a constant P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. So, we can write P2 by P1 is equal to V1 by V2. So, here the temperature is 0. The change in internal energy is equal to 0 and the change in enthalpy is also 0 in constant temperature process. Here, uh, we have to remember both the internal energy and change in enthalpy are both are zero so here whatever the heat transfer is is equal to the amount of the work delivered to the surrounding so the round play energy equation for the isothermal process is nothing but dq is equal to dw and we can write this expression for this as a w is equal to p1 v1 log v2 by v1 or p1 v1 log p1 by p2 or we can write this equation also PV, PV is equal to MRT. So, there are the four equations related to the 
isothermal process the first one is p1 v1 w is equal to p1 v1 log v2 by v1 or p1 v1 log p1 by p2 or we can write pv is equal to mrt so work done is equal to mrt log v2 by v1 or log mrt log p1 by p2 here we have to take this of you both the compression and expansion is there if you v2 by v1 is the expansion ratio we are representing v2 by v1 as the expansion ratio so the value is a positive and the compression ratio v1 by v2 so the value is a negative and the heat transfer q also be negative so the heat energy must be when the negative sign represents that the heat energy must be rejected from the gas during the compression to maintain the constant temperature so this is the isothermal process is an a constant temperature constant temperature process next coming to the fourth one adiabatic process or isentropic process the isentropic process if the process is reversible if the process is reversible is the given the equation pv power gamma is equal to constant so in isentropic process no heat energy is transferred to or from the system to or from the system is called an adiabatic process so a reversible adiabatic process is also called as an isentropic process here the reversible adiabatic process um, uh, in a cylinder we are we are insulating the we are insulating we are isolating the outside of the cylinder walls that's why there is a no heat transfer is taking place from to or from the system so but the insulation is never perfect however the expansion or the compression takes place very rapidly so approximately adiabatic conditions can be achieved so here there's a dq is equal to 0 the change in entropy also can be 0 change in entropy is also 0 because delta s is equal to dq by dt if the heat transfer dq is equal to 0 automatically the change in entropy is also 0 the frictionless adiabatic process is often referred as an isentropic process and it can be represented by an equation called a pv power gamma is equal to constant pv power gamma is equal to constant where gamma is called an adiabatic index so we can calculate the adiabatic index by using the two specific constants gamma is equal to cp by cv gamma is equal to ratio of the specific heat at constant pressure divided by specific heat at constant volume for here the adiabatic process here we are taking as a q as a zero q as a zero so non flow energy equation we can write as a zero is equal to w plus du so work done is equal to minus du work done is equal to minus du so work is done at the expense of an internal energy it should be noted that in adiabatic compression the internal energy increases in adiabatic expansion the internal energy decreases in adiabatic expansion the internal energy is increases this one is the idea polytropic process in polytropic process the both the work and the heat energy transferred across the boundary here also there is an equation uh, pv power n is equal to constant where n is called as an a polytropic index or polytropic exponent here also the work done uh, formula is there work done is equal to p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by n minus 1 where n is called in a polytropic index and there is an expression for the heat transfer so both the heat and the work are takes place in the polytropic process so we can write the q is equal to gamma minus n divided by gamma minus 1 into work done so work done may be a p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by n minus 1 and this equation also we can write as a mr t1 minus t2 n minus 1 so this is one is a and there is a relations of a pv and gamma so we all know that p1 by p2 is equal to v2 by v1 whole power n and t1 by t2 is equal to v2 by v1 whole power n minus 1 and p1 by p2 is equal to t1 by t2 whole power n divided by n minus 1 so the next uh, we know the polytropic index n value is also there n is equal to log t2 by t1 divided by log p2 by p1 and next next one is in a thermal 
ex, uh, free expansion. Next one is a throttling process. So here the throttling is an irreversible process in which the pressure of the gases decreases without performing any external work. Without any external work. So here that the work and the Q heat W and the heat transfer are the zero. So and next the change in enthalpy is also equal H1 is equal to H2. So that's for the throttling process is called as an isoenthalpic process. Enthalpic means enthalpy, iso means same, same enthalpic values. So H1 is equal to H2. That's why the process is also called an isoenthalpic process. So this process is mainly used in the adjusting the steam supply in the refrigerator systems and instruments used to measure the rate of gas flow such as a venturi meter, orifice meter, etc. Next one is a free expansion process. So free expansion is nothing but the unrestricted expansion of a gases for a high pressure chamber into the vacuum pressure is called an as a free expansion. So just I give explanation only, no need to write the explanation. Just if they ask the state and classify the non-flow process means you write the definition of the non-flow process, a process during which energy crosses the boundary but cannot cross the boundary bound but the mass cannot cross the boundary is called a non-flow process. So the first process is constant volume, constant pressure, constant temperature, adiabatic process, polytropic process, throttling process and the free expansion process. Second question, straight isothermal and isentropic process. So isothermal process is also called as an adiabatic process. Isentropic is also called as an adiabatic process. In isothermal process, uh, it is a constant temperature. We are taking is the one which takes place at constant temperature. So dt is equal to 0. So this is possible if expansion or the con ex compression takes place very slowly. At the isentropic process, a process during which no heat energy is transferred to or from the system is called the adiabatic process. So dq is equal to 0. Frictionless adiabatic process is often referred to So differentiate adiabatic process from a polytropic process in any two accepts. So here they are asking the differentiated between the adiabatic process and the polytropic process. So first we have to write the what is an adiabatic process then we have to write the polytropic process and write the equation of the adiabatic process and the polytropic process. So in the adiabatic process only um, the heat transfer does not takes place, heat does not occur while in a polytropic process the heat transfers occurs, heat transfers occurs and the, the second point is that the adiabatic uh, process is expressed by the relation PV power gamma is equal to constant where gamma is so called as an adiabatic adiabatic constant and the value we can calculate it by using the ratio of the specific heats this is a gamma is equal to ratio of the specific heat at constant volume divided by specific heat at constant volume pressure by volume gamma is equal to cp by cv its so value is a 1.4 whereas that the in polytropic process it is expressed as a pv power n is equal to constant n is called as an a polytropic index or the polytropic exponent and the n values varies from a 0 to infinity. n value varies from 0 to infinity. So that is the main difference between the polytropic process and the adiabatic process. So they will ask this, so what is an entropy also? And what is an entropy also? So entropy is, uh, I didn't return the question here, but I am telling that what is an entropy means entropy is defined as an a then extensive property of the system which increases the heat on uh, uh, that d s increases when the so here the entropy we can define as as a as entropy increases with increasing of the addition of a heat and decreases by removal of the heat so the transfer of the heat energy affected due to the disorder of the molecular disorder of the system. So entropy is nothing but the measure of a molecular disorder existing in the 
system. So that is also one question. What is the defined entropy means? We can define like that. So entropy is an uh, extensive property that increases the with the addition of heat and decreases by the removal of a heat. The entropy equation is ds is equal to dq by t and the, the unit is kilojoule per Kelvin. So next question. Express the relationship between the pressure, volume and temperature in adiabatic process. So they ask the relationship between the pressure, volume, pressure, temperature, volume, temperature in adiabatic process. So, so in adiabatic process P and V are related by A. We all know that the adiabatic equation is P1 V1 power gamma is equal to P2 V2 power gamma. So I, I am writing this equation as a P2 by P1 is equal to V1 by V2 whole power gamma. And if you want the relation between P and T, so we want only P and T. So we don't want the volume. So we have to eliminate this volume by using that the ideal gas equation PV is equal to MRT. In place of a V, we want the T. So write that a T is equal to, uh, 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 remove V by using that the P and T. So we can write the T, uh, V is equal to T by P, T by P. And here power gamma is there. So using that uh, sim on simplification, we will get P2 by P1 is equal to T2 by T1 whole power gamma by gamma minus 1. Gamma by gamma minus 1. So by combining the two equations, we can write the P, V and T can be expressed as a V1 by V2 whole power gamma is equal to P2 by P1 equal to T2 by T1 gamma by gamma minus 1. So the same question they will ask like this also. So, the, the express the relation between the pressure, volume, temperature in polytropic process. So, the main difference between the adiabatic process and the polytropic process is we are replacing the gamma with an an. Gamma with an a polytropic index value an. Here the gamma in adiabatic process the gamma value is a 1.4 whereas in a polytropic process n value lies between 0 to infinity in 0 to infinity. So, in polytropic process the P and V we are related as a P2 by P1 is equal to V1 by V2 whole power n and P and T are related as a P2 by P1 is equal to T2 by T1 whole power n divided by n minus 1. So, combining the both the two equations the relation between P, V and T can be expressed for the polytropic process as V1 by V2 whole power n is equal to P2 by P1 equal to T2 by T1 whole power n divided by n minus 1. So these are the some important questions in chapter 2. So students you can try some more example problems, some more example problems also and one more question also you can try. So in constant pressure process the heat transfer is equal to the change in enthalpy. So in constant process the the heat transfer is equal to change in enthalpy. You can try that question. So these three questions try yourself. So just I am reading the question and I will explain. I am not giving the solution to you. Just I will explain the show that for the constant pressure process the heat transfer is, is equal to the change of enthalpy. So here what there is at the constant pressure process we know that the heat transfer is equal to the change of enthalpy. So here they asked how it is, how, uh, how you show that the uh, heat transfer is, is equal to change of enthalpy. So we know that the enthalpy equation H is equal to U plus PV, U plus PV. So we can write this, so change in enthalpy as a H2 minus H1 is equal to U2 minus U1 plus we can write the PV as a RT. So change means R we have taken as a common T2 minus T1. So you know that the change in internal energy as a Cv T2 minus T1. So H2 minus H1 substitute the internal energy there. Uh, so we get the equation as a H2 minus H1 is equal to Cv T2 minus T1 plus R T2 minus T1. So in that T2 minus T1 is a common uh, R plus Cv we will get. So R plus Cv we can write as is nothing but the Cp. So H2 minus H1 is nothing but Cp T2 minus T1 which is equal to the heat transfer at constant pressure process. So just I am telling only you can try yourself with it. 
it's like that the same question show that the adiabatic index for an that is adiabatic index is an a gamma for an ideal gas equation is given by cp by cv so here we are also considering the non flow energy equation q is equal to w plus u2 minus u1 so for the adiabatic process so uh, heat transfer is zero so w is equal to we will get minus of change in internal energy. So, my, we can remove that minus and we can write as a W is equal to U1 minus U2. And we know that W is equal to MR T1 minus T2 by gamma minus 1 is equal to, you know, you uh, change in internal energy MCV T1 minus T2. And substitute the R value here and dividing throughout with the CV, we will get the gamma is equal to CP by CV. Simply, first you have to write the ideal gas equation after that for the adiabatic process you know that q is equal to 0 so what is the remaining w is equal to minus of u2 minus u1 so take minus into inside so it will become say w is equal to u1 minus u2 so we can, i am writing the w is a mr t1 minus t2 by gamma minus 1 and u change in internal energy you all know that mcv t1 minus t2 and um, I am writing R also CV into gamma minus 1. So, CV, CV get cancelled and uh, dividing throughout with the, the, the CV, we will get by on simplification, we will get the CP minus CV is equal to gamma. CP minus CV is equal to gamma. And the next question also is a perfect gas at a state of P1, V1, P1, V1 and T1 undergoes the change of state P2, V2. Show that the change of enthalpy is H2 minus H1 is equal to gamma r by gamma minus 1 into t2 minus t1 here also we are taking the definition of the here also enthalpy so enthalpy h is equal to u plus pv so h2 minus h1 is equal to u2 minus u1 i am writing the pv as a r t2 minus t1 so from there you can take a common everything uh, r uh, cv we can write as a r divided by gamma minus 1 so, R taken as a common, T2 minus T1 also common and the remaining is 1 divided by gamma minus 1 plus 1. So, on simplification we will get as a R gamma divided by gamma minus 1 T2 minus T1. So, these are the uh, theory questions on the second chapter of thermodynamic process. And in the next class we will discuss, we will start the third chapter. We will start the third chapter that is the fuels and combustion. So, in the next class we will see you with the third chapter of a fuels and combustion. Thank you.